Welcome back, everybody, to We Are Viewing Sports. My name is James Irvin. Sorry if you didn't get it yesterday. I couldn't upload the mock draft today. It's because I was sick. My throat still kind of hurts. So, Jonathan, it's going to take the load of the talking today. Oh, that's not good. All right, anyways. <laughs> um, Put up the scoreboard right now. We're going to look at the score for Wild Card Weekend. I am up 6-5. to five. Thank God I picked the Niners over the Cowboys. I should have known that the Cowboys were going to be... Idiots. And, you know, they can thank the Rams for that because if it was the Saints in that situation, the Cowboys move on. And thank all of us, the Cowboys don't win. We don't get to hear their insufferable fans. Anyways, I am up 6-5. to five. We pretty much went all picks the same except for that Niners-Cowboys game. We switched it up a little bit this time. We're not going into whole bracket this time, so it's going to be a much shorter video. But, That's of course, the punishment is getting ice-cold water poured on them on a very cold day after the Super Bowl. It'll be it'll come mid-February, so it could be... A little shaky there, but it's going to still be very cold. You know, it is like, it feels like a 12. <laughs> it is, it feels like a 12. And it's a 16 degrees outside by the time I checked, so, you know, that's great. <laughs> but let's get right into it. Kick it off with the Saturday games. The first game we're watching is Bengals-Titans, and I am very excited for this game mm -hmm. for one reason. One man has returned. King Henry is back. I don't know if he's a full hog or not. Bengals are beat up right now for that reason. I'm going with the Tennessee Titans at home. Give me the Titans, John. I mean, I just, I have the Bengals going far. I like the Bengals a lot, so uh, basically that's really the only reason why I picked them. Joe Burrow. I mean, Joe yeah. Burrow Chase. That's why I he said Defense beat it. up, all right? I'm not, I'm not here to persuade him on his picks. If I can go perfect again, this would be a perfect playoff run for me. Uh, next Saturday game is my beloved Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers going up against the 49ers. There's a key strategy for the 49ers to win. Run the fucking football right down their throats. Just run the football in the Green Bay Packers' face. If that happens, we might lose. Keep Aaron Rodgers off the field. That doesn't happen. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's hurt. Joey, Nick Bosa is hurt. Not Joey Bosa. Wish he was in the playoffs, but he's not. We have to watch Big Ben. And I said on my podcast, link in description for the Younger Viewing Sports podcast, that if yes. Justin Herbert got that start that uh, the Steelers defense gave them, then the Chargers beat the Chiefs, and we're all craving upsets. But there's no upset here. The Packers are going to win. I This is the year that we don't lose to the 49ers. We're over, Aaron Rodgers over three against them. He breaks the street. They're a little beat up. We're getting Zedarius Smith back, Bakhtiari back, Jair Alexander back, Whitney Merciless back. We're getting a lot of guys back. We're getting rejuvenated. If we lose here, it's a disastrous, disastrous start. Give me the Green Bay Packers to win and win by 10. No, I'm going to go with the Packers. I mean, the way that they have been dominant basically all season, except for week one. Don't look at week one. James Winston owned y'all. But I mean, the they got a they got a lot of uh, people back. They're getting a lot of guys back, and I mean, look at the RIP. I mean, it's just gonna be Packers dub. All right, so one for two there. Moving on to the Sunday games, and we got the Bills and the Chiefs. Talk <laughs> about a hard hitting football game. Ow. A classic. A game that could have been for the AFC Championship. It was last year, but now we get it for the divisional. And I think whoever wins this game is more than likely winning in the AFC Championship game. And I think Josh Allen is riding high. He's riding this momentum. The Bills are going to be riding this momentum in. They're not, they're keeping their head down. Give me the Buffalo Bills. Big. Both teams coming off big win. I think Josh Allen goes into Arrowhead and upsets Patrick Mahomes. It would not surprise me if the Chiefs won this. I would like to say that the Chiefs are still a very good football yeah. team. But I trust Josh Allen. So give me Josh Allen and the Bills to beat Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs because I trust the Bills' defense way more. I trust Chiefs' defense. I think Josh Allen can keep his momentum. Bills going to Arrowhead and win. Um, I have the same pick. I mean, Bills, I mean, they're definitely... They got the momentum. Chiefs also have momentum, but I mean, they have like an easy game for the Steelers. And Bills made it look easy against the Patriots. Yeah, they really. That job sucked. Yeah, he really did. But, anyways, I mean, I trust, just like you said, I, I trust Josh Allen and the Bills, so I'm taking the Bills for this one. All right, moving on. Rams, Bucks. And this is where the buy system comes out. I'm letting you go first this time. I'm. They aren't. I picked the Rams because I saw the way that they played against the Cardinals, and the Cardinals played horrible. 
I mean, that pick six was absolutely terrible. I mean, who just throws it up in the air? Carson Wentz. And Paolo Murray, yeah. So. Yeah, well, there's those reasons. And it's <laughs> by his ramps <ransom. laughs> Oh, don't. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm, you saw I'm the, so, you I'm saw sorry. I'm sorry. Played. I just, yeah, just coughed my still coughing yeah. the beans. But. Okay. It's a PG show. Is it? <laughs> by his ramps fit. Look. It's simple formula for the Bucks. They have a beat up a line, and I was tempted to pick the Rams. However, it's gonna say it. If Tristan Wirfs plays, the Bucks win. That offensive line will hold up for Brady. They're a little beat up. That's why I don't think they win the NFC Championship against the Green Bay Packers. Please, I can't handle another NFC Championship loss. I may put a bullet in my throat. Um. However, um. I have the Bucks winning. It's in Tampa. I trust Tom Brady more than I trust Matthew Stafford. And if you look yeah. at my Twitter, you can very understand that Matthew Stafford has been very interception prone and letting good teams in the playoffs. The 49ers. Writing on my notes here. The 49ers should not be here, but the Rams choked. You know who also choked the main threat for it? Matthew Stafford. Am I mad at him for that? Yes, because we could be playing the Cowboys. It would be much easier than the San Francisco 49ers. The Bucks okay. and Tom Brady and Tristan Wirfs playing is vital. He is so young and so good. Franchise left tackle. He should be on the Bucks for his entire career. Yeah. He's that damn good. And if he's Von Miller seems to be approaching, I, I'm like talking myself into taking the Rams. But, you know, you look at coaching. Do I trust the defense? Do I trust the offense more? I trust Tom Brady. More. It's the simple fact of the Tom Brady effect over Matthew Stafford. And also, I'm not a biased Rams fan. I'm not a biased Rams fan. And I'm when just he gets saying, this pick right, you, because I just think the Rams you, might win, but I, I'm taking the Bucks. I, I mean, when you look at the lineups, I mean, when you have Vaughn Miller and Aaron Donald. Rams faced a harder opponent, and they, and they blew socks off them. Bucks faced the Eagles, and they blew socks off them. It's, it all comes to who really wants to. Really wants to win. You're telling me you're going to take Matthew Stafford, who only has one career playoff win, versus Tom Brady, who has seven Super Bowls. It's not only Matthew Stafford. It's I'm not saying that, when you but look, when it comes down to a two-minute drill, when, you, when it's coming down yeah. to a two-minute drill, and you I'm need to I'm obviously going to pick Tom Brady, but I'm thinking if the Rams can definitely jump ahead, but I get it's if a they team can sport. stop. I get it's a team sport, but in the big moment, who do you look for to make that play? Your quarterback. When you're, it's a tie game, who are you looking at? You know, the team's defense. <coughs> Maybe if you're like a Bucks fan, you are. But here you'd be looking towards Matthew Stafford to make a play. And I think that defense with Anthony Wilson Jr., Jordan Whitehead back there. We've got Vita Vea up the middle. Shaq Barrett off the edge. Devin White. Cam the... Akers is also back. And he really played very well. Yes. Sonny Michelle has played great. Yeah. We have two really good Running backs, and right OBJ there. is playing. It's hard out. Yeah, we have a even and the I think offense. The corner, okay, I'm like telling myself into taking the Rams. Yes, but it, their corners are weak. Look, the corners are weak. Safeties are strong. They move guys around. They did it last year when their safeties went down. They moved corners back. Yeah, we pulled Eric Weddle out of retirement. I'm talking about the Bucks right now. I know. I'm just saying that Eric. They both teams Eric. are beat up, and yes. both teams doesn't matter who win when they run into Green Bay and Lambeau are going to lose. <laughs> I didn't. That's, Rams, a, that's a fair statement. The Look, Packers and the Rams could possibly lose. And then if you want to hear a further discussion on this, go to my podcast, Younger Viewer. I'm just kidding. We're not doing a podcast episode on this. We could. I mean, that, like it's been going on for a while. We need to move on. <laughs> There's no other thing to move on to. The recap. But look, all I'm saying is when it comes down to it, if it's a tie, if it's a close game, if the only way the Rams are going to win this is they blow them out. The Rams blow them out and Tom Brady just physically can't do anything, it's done for. But they keep it close, The Tom Brady's going to pull it out. Yes, and that was worries me. I'm telling you, if the defense can stop Tom Brady I think that defense box. is great. I think the Rams' defense is great. And I think this has to be a Super Bowl. This year and next year has to be a Super Bowl year for the Rams. I think next year I'm taking the Rams for my Super Bowl pick. But this isn't this year. This is this this next year. It's this year. The, 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 the year. Tom Brady's going to beat Matthew Stafford. It's at Tampa, too. They have a true home field advantage. It's warm, which is good for them. But, you know, hey, those these two get to enjoy playing in the warm team, especially the Rams. They're going to be at a disadvantage. They went from a dome team. Now they're playing in warm Tampa. And then they get to go to negative 5-degree Green Bay. Like, I think the temperature is going to be like 60 to 70 in there. It's 68 degrees in our house. 
So it's going to be warmer in Tampa than they get to run into a frigid Green Bay. Same for Tampa Bay. They got to play at Tampa, Tampa, and then they if they win, then they get to go to negative 11 degrees with a feels like of negative 23 Green Bay. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter who wins this game as long as it, Packers win. That's all I'm saying. We got to win. We got to recap this up. Look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was a great guy. I'll clip that. Uh, that Jonathan has the Bengals, Bills, Packers, Rams. I have Titans, Bills, Packers, Bucks. I think our Super Bowl is very similar. If every if everything goes to plan, uh, for Jonathan, I think I'm still in the lead. But you saw the scoreboard earlier. Uh, I am in the lead, and I am not getting cold water poured on me for my own channel because I don't want to take another punishment. Because I already later, framed you with like with later cream. in the year, I got to do my standings reaction, and we know the punishment for that is too. I might do whipped cream again. I might not. We'll see. But we got to wrap this video up. Thank you all so much for listening to this. This was very fun. This was, was very fun. That Leave was a way comment in the first video and subscribe. subscribe. Who do you think is right? No one word comments. You know I love to do my one word comments. Bucks or Rams. That's Rams. it. One Bucks word. Rams. Just one word. Either do the Bucks or the Rams. Don't give any logic. Don't give an Aaron Donald. Don't give a Tom Brady like I did. Bucks or Rams. That's all you got to do. Again, all the Bucks have is Tom Brady, basically, and Tristan. Vita Bay is very good. Yeah, he is very good. Jordan Whitehead's good. Antoine Winfield's very good. Mike Evans. Yeah. He's no good. He's no good. I wish they had Antonio Brown make this pick a lot easier. Yeah, they even really had Chris Godwin they just make this pick a lot easier. It would. It because really Jalen Ramsey just like, we got to close out this video. We are talking way too much about Bucks this Rams. This pick, man. It's we so will do a podcast on at reacting to this game. So there's the next podcast episode. Oh, okay. Packers, Ram, Packers are going to win. Packers. Bucks are going to win. No. Leave Packers a comment. Are gonna Leave win. a comment. Bucks, Packers, Rams. Rams. Make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, thank you for watching. Listen. Listening. <laughs> Thank you oh, God. for listening.